Afghanistan. Afghanistan ranks 122 out of 180 on the Press Freedom Index. For Afghanistan's journalists, 2018 was the deadliest year since the fall of the Taliban regime in 2001. A total of 15 journalists and media workers were killed in a series of bombings that began early in the year, nine of them in a single day. Many others were consistently threatened by various parties to the conflict. The war imposed by the Taliban and the Islamic State and constant abuses by warlords and corrupt political officials constitute a permanent threat to journalists, the media, and press freedom in Afghanistan. Women journalists are a favorite target and are especially vulnerable to those regions where fundamentalist propaganda is heated. Concern is growing that basic freedoms, including press freedoms, could be sacrificed in the course of international efforts to restore peace in the region. In response to the threat, the RSF-backed Center for the Protection of Afghan Women Journalists has launched several campaigns for the protection, could be sacrificed in the course of the international efforts to restore peace in Afghanistan. In response to the threat, the RSF-backed Center for Protection of Afghan Women Journalists has launched several campaigns for the protection of the rights of women journalists as a precondition for peace. The experience of the past 17 years confirms that peace and security are what the Afghan people want most, but they cannot be achieved and guaranteed without a free and independent media, without guarantees for journalist safety. Now, as an update, uh, Afghanistan is now at 178 at time of recording in 2024. The, the Taliban's takeover of the country, 40 million people surround, sounded the death knell for press freedom and the safety of journalists, particularly women journalists. Media is now required to broadcast information that is controlled by the government. The repression of journalists has steadily intensified. 43% of Afghan media outlets disappeared. More than two-thirds of the 12,000 journalists in the country have left the profession. Eight out of ten women journalists have had to stop working. The few women journalists still working are subject to all kinds of restrictions, no access to official sources, and no traveling without a chaperone, and abuse, harassment, very low or even non-existent salaries. Meet, the media face severe restrictions. Afghan TV and radio stations can no longer broadcast music, and women presenters must cover their faces. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hibmedia.gg/discord. Discord links there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hibmedia.gg/10. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boon to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.